So if someone asked me this week, what is my secret formula for selling on Etsy? Now, like, I think I actually have one. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you in this video. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jessa Bellman and I teach all things digital products. So if that is what you want to learn, you are in the right place. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you my secret sales, no, secret formula for more sales on Etsy. Secret for, I need a catchier name. We're going to think of a catchier name, but basically it's the three things that I always do when I am uploading a new product to Etsy and I want it to sell like crazy. Okay, let's jump in. <laughs> So the first thing, and I talk about this quite a lot on my channel, but the first thing that I always like to make sure that my products, like the box that they tick, is that that product is trending. So I like to do a little bit of research and make sure that the colors, the styles, the actual products itself are something which is like people, like it's in demand. People are wanting it. People are currently buying it and it is selling like hotcakes for other sellers. So it is very important to sort of deep dive. You can definitely do this on a tool like Pinterest so you can sort of search for what is trending and like whatever is currently trending will sort of pop up on Pinterest. Otherwise you can sort of deep dive with a, a another tool like Marmalade, E-Rank, Insight Factory. There's heaps and heaps of ones around. So definitely do some re research into trends and have a look and make sure that your product is currently selling. I like to make sure that my products have killer product images. Now, product images are so important because they really kind of act as like this portal to our products. So especially on a search engine based website like Etsy, where people sort of they just type in what they want and all the images come up, your product image, like it's what is going to pull people to your product. They're going to click that first before seeing anything else. So it needs to be good. It needs to really stand out as well. Like good isn't good enough. It needs to make, you need to make sure that when you are looking at all the other product images out there, yours really stands out. It is like it stops the scroll. People want to click it. They can't help themselves. So you can do this in a number of ways. You can do it by adding a border to the image. You can like sort of play around with colors. Go with white space is another really cool tool as well because a lot of people don't sort of think to use extra white space in their product thumbnails. So definitely make sure your product thumbnails are absolutely awesome. All right, so tip number three make sure your titles, your description, and your tags on your Etsy listing are awesome. You need to make sure that they are SEO optimized and you need to make sure they really clearly tell your customers exactly what they are getting and the benefit of that. It's something that a lot of people miss. They don't actually explain sort of the benefit of a product in the description, in the title. You need to make sure that if your product solves a problem, you tell the customer about it. So make those descriptions, those titles, and those tags absolutely juicy, packed with value, and really, really full of excellent copywriting. So thank you so much for watching this quick video. I wanted to sort of like pack in like a couple of little tips. And yeah, you now have my secret formula to selling more on Etsy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, definitely subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every single week all about digital products. I would love to have you in my community. Thank you again, guys. I will see you guys soon.